church this August 21st, 2022, a day that we've never seen. Healing reign. My sermon topic today is Jesus Christ is the Sabbath. And we will find that in Luke 13, verses 10 through 17. But before I say that, may the peace of the Lord be with you and also with you on this third Sunday, the 11th Sunday after Pentecost. So we find ourselves on this third Sunday in Luke 13, my brothers and sisters. Luke 13, verses 10 through 17. Luke 13, verses 10 through 17. And it reads, Now he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And there was a woman who had had a spirit of infirmity for 18 years. She had bent over and could not fully straighten herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called and said to her, Woman, you are free from your infirmities. And he laid his hands upon her, and immediately she was made straight, and she praised God. But the ruler of the synagogue, indignant because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath, said to the people, There are six days on which work ought to be done. Come on those days and be healed and not on the Sabbath day. Then the Lord answered him, You hypocrites! Does not each of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his ass from the manger and lead it away to walk? And ought not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Sarah bound for eighteen years, be loosened from the bond of the Sabbath? And he said this all in his adversities were put to shame, and all the people rejected, and all the glorious things that were done by him. My brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is the Sabbath. In the book of John, it says in John 644, that a prophet receives no honor in his time. We find Jesus Christ on the Sabbath, which in the Jewish faith is sundown Friday through Saturday. Jesus is healing a woman. Yet the Pharisees, the experts of the law, says you have six days to do that, but on the Sabbath you should do no work. And Jesus rebukes the Sadducees and the fact that the Pharisees and calls them hypocrites and says, Do you not untie your donkey to get on it or to move it around on the Sabbath? Should I not heal this daughter, this daughter of Abraham and of Sarah? who's been afflicted for 18 years. My brothers and sisters, what Jesus is telling us on this August 21st is that he is the Sabbath. The Sabbath begins with him, and the Sabbath ends with him. And because it begins with him and ends with him, we too can celebrate the Sabbath. The Sabbath is not any specific day anymore. The Sabbath is when we rest in our relationship with Jesus Christ. When we are free from the ills of this world. When we are free from the bondage of doing and coming and yet just resting in the hands of a perfect God. The Sabbath is Jesus Christ. The Sabbath anymore is no longer just a day. The Sabbath is a time in which we rest in God. When we wake up in the morning and give him thanks, when we go to bed at night and give him thanks, when we come to church on Sunday morning and celebrate and worship and fellowship with our brothers and sisters in the sanctuary and during fellowship time, that is the Sabbath. The Sabbath is when we go visit people to help the sick children. The Sabbath is when we lend a helping hand to a child who needs time. The Sabbath is Jesus the Christ. And so because of the cross, and because of what he did at the cross, we can live free that the Sabbath is everything. The Sabbath is the time to rejoice and do your work, but fellowship with God. Your relationship with God should be and must be everything. It cannot be just when on Sunday or just down on Saturday or just down on Friday evening, but the Sabbath is everything. And so the good news, my brothers and sisters, 
because Jesus Christ is the Sabbath. Healing reigns. There's never a specific day that God can come into your life and my life and bring healing. There's not a specific day when you can help another brother and sister in your faith. There's not a specific day or time when you can help the least of these. But brothers and sisters, the least of these doesn't always have to do with money, clothes, property, and house. You can be a very rich and well-to-do person <coughs> and be one of the least of these. See, the least of these is those individuals who don't know what it means to have that personal relationship with Jesus Christ, knowing that their strength and everything they are and can be can come through Jesus Christ. So the good news today, on this August 21st, 2022, is that Jesus Christ is the Sabbath. And because he is the Sabbath, what was said in this text today, Jesus wanted to remind them, there's not a specific day. It is the action and the act that makes it the Sabbath. When you do God's work, you are operating in the presence of the Sabbath. So the good news today, my brothers and sisters, rejoice in the fact that you today, wherever you are in the city of Albany, in your home, or on vacation, if you're praying to God, you're in the Sabbath. If you're worshiping, reading your Bible, you're in the Sabbath. If you're in a soup kitchen helping someone, you're in your Sabbath. If you're passing out flowers in your shop, you're in the Sabbath. If you're giving some help to somebody at the bank, you're in the Sabbath. If you're helping somebody who needs help in the grocery store, you're in the Sabbath. If you're sitting with somebody in DSS and the system's against them and yet you're living that help the hand, you're in the Sabbath. If you're helping someone, hallelujah, who just needs someone just to talk to on the phone for a minute, you're in the Sabbath. Because Sabbath is healing. Sabbath is an opportunity to heal. And because the Sabbath exists, exists, we have healing power. You see, my brothers and sisters, Jesus is not going to do for us what we can do for one another. That's the good news. We always have the opportunity when we fail at it. Get up the next day and try to give somebody else. And the other person will see it. When we see what Jesus said, what? Shut the dust off your feet and keep it moving. Because God loves you. And he loves me. And it's not a cliche. If we really knew how much God loved us, we would love others the same way that God loves us. That's the good news of the Sabbath. That Jesus found no harm in healing somebody who had been afflicted for 18 years. And maybe because she didn't make it on one of those six particular days that the Pharisees and Sadducees saw, but Jesus said, come and you get your healing. Whether it was the seventh day, the fourth day, the first day, or the third day, Jesus gave the healing. And that's the good news on this August 21st. There's good news in the healing. At this time, I want to thank you for this moment on August 21st. I want to thank those who continue to give to First Congregational Albany I want to thank those who give in their time, town, and treasures. I want to thank those who sent their offering in before they were on vacation. And I want to thank those who did their service in time before they were on vacation. God loves you, and so do I. And I ask them to continue to pray for our sick and shut in, those individuals who are mourning loved ones, and those individuals who are just looking for another way. Let's repeat the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thou art the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. I
thank you for this Sunday. And I pray that you are safe where you are. And I pray that all is going well at this time. And if it's not going well, just know that Reverend Rogers, your pastor and your minister, loves you and continues to pray for you. Have a wonderful day this August 21st.